Hey folks and welcome back. Now today we'll be looking at one of the most awaited features that is creating your own custom wake word such that we can invoke home assistant using the voice assistant with a custom wake word. Now we will be creating this completely locally without using any kind of services on the internet. So for this, a little bit of heads up, you will have to install Docker on your system so that we can run this application using Docker to create our custom wake word model. Now, since this is a festive season that is going on, we will be creating a wake word that is related to this festive season. So with this, let's get started. To start off, what we need is we need to set up the assist pipeline. Now there is a video link somewhere here wherein I have shown you how you can set up the assist pipeline with Whisper, Piper and Open Wake Word. Now we will be requiring Whisper and Piper whereas instead of using the Open Wake Word, we will be using a different Wake Word detector that is Snowball. So make sure that you see that video to set up the assist pipeline with these two components that is Whisper and Piper. So when you set it up, you should get to see something like this. So if I go to devices and services and go to my Yaoming protocol here, you should get to see like this faster whisper here and Piper integrated using this Yaoming protocol. Okay. And then when I go back to my assist pipeline here, so I have this assist pipeline. And if I see here, you should have your speech to text as faster whisper, your text to speech as Piper and the wake word part is something that we are going to now set up. Now the other part that you have to make sure is that you have some kind of a mechanism to invoke the wake word, right? So according to that video, I have shown you how you can do it with a USB microphone. But if you have seen my yet another video, which I'm linking also here, I have shown you how you can create a voice assistant using ESP32. So that has an ESP32 as well as a microphone and then you can trigger the wake word. So refer to that video and you will come to know how to set it up in Home Assistant. So once you set it up, you should get it something like this. So you should have an ESP home section here with this voice assistant device here and you should have this being enabled. So this will make sure that you will have your voice assistant set up such that you can invoke the wake word. So now let's go ahead and do the part about the wake word detector. So for this, we are going to set up Snowboy. So let's go to settings. And then in the settings section, we are going to go to add-ons. And in the add-ons, here we are going to click on add-on store. And now here we are going to search for Snowboy. So if I click on this, you should get this thing and I'm going to click on install. Now, in case if you don't find this add-on, I will provide you this link. So this link here, wherein you can click on Snowboy here and show the add-on such that you can have this add-on integrated inside Home Assistant OS. This is only if you don't find the add-on. So now I have this add-on here. I'm going to now start this. And this will take a little bit of time. So this will actually build the image for you and then start running Snowboy for you. So Snowboy is now up and running. Let's actually integrate this with our home assistant. So let's go to settings, devices and services. And here it's already been detected. So I'm just going to click on configure. And now if I go to my Yaoming protocol, you should see these three components here. Now let's go ahead and edit our voice assist pipeline. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on manage assistance. And then here I'm going to edit this assist pipeline. I have speech to text with faster whisper then text to speech as Piper. And then here in the wake word, now you can see there is Snowboy here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a different wake word like Snowboy here. So now we will use this Snowboy as our wake word for our voice assistant. So now let's update this. So now with this, let's trigger our voice assistant. Snowboy, turn on the light. Turn on input boolean. So if you see, it worked with this Snowboy wake word. So now what we were mainly interested in was how we can create our own wake word, right? So for this, what we will have to do is we will have to run one of the Docker containers. So let me open a terminal here. And then here I'm going to run this command. 
now this command i will provide you into the article that i will link into the description below so you can run this command directly so what does this command do is that it's going to pull in this docker image and it's going to run at the port 8000 using this mechanism we will be able to run an application on our system and then launch this on our browser so let's actually start this so now the application has started and it's running at the port 8000 so let me open this application so when i hit localhost 8000 so here you can see this application for personal wake word recorder is up and running now what we have to do is we need to enable the microphone so let me enable a microphone here and i'm going to say allow and now this will allow the microphone input to this site here so now this is all running locally on your system it's nowhere been sent on the cloud or you're not sending it across the internet this is all running on your system itself so now let me go ahead and make sure that we have the right microphone so i have the right microphone here configured and now i'm going to record my wake word so the wake word that i'm planning to use is hey santa because it's a christmas season right now so i think this would be the best custom wake word that i thought of so let's record this so let's go here and i'm going to click on record and then i'm going to speak hey santa hey santa now after recording you can see the recorded audio here you can play this here hey santa and similarly i'm going to do now i'm going to record two more samples so now i have recorded three samples you can play them here hey santa hey santa so these are the three samples that i have right now now the next thing that you have to do is just click on submit here oh yeah i forgot the model name so let me give it a model name like hey santa and i'm going to click on submit so now this is actually built the model and now we are going to save this model on our machines so let me download this model here and i'm going to click on save here so now we have the model downloaded for us now the next thing that we have to do is we need to copy this model onto our home assistant os now to copy this file onto our home assistant os there's a video i have shown here how you can set up something called as samba share through which we can copy files from our machine to the home assistant os directly so i'm going to use that samba share if you have not set it up refer to that video here and you will come to know how to actually access the folders on your home assistant os so now what i'm going to do i'm going to actually log into the samba share network drive so for this i'm going to go to my finder here and i'm going to go to go and i'm going to connect to a server here. so here now i'm going to specify the ip address of my server that is a home assistant os and i'm going to specify the smb colon double slash with the ip address now in that video i have also shown you how you can access the shared drive on a windows machine i'm right now using a mac os so this is the way you connect it you can refer to that video to see how you can do it on a windows machine also so now i'm going to click on connect here and then here i'm going to select the share folder here so i'm going to select the share folder that i want because here i'm going to paste my custom wake word so now here there is a folder called as snowboy so this is a folder that you will have to create if it's not present and then inside this i'm going to copy my model so let me actually go to my downloads here i'm going to copy this i'm going to go back here and i'm going to paste this here so that's all that you need to do now now what we need to do is we need to go to home assistant so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to overview click on our voice assist pipeline and then let's open the pipeline here and then here you should get to see hey santa so if you can see here it's already ready here so i'm going to select hey santa right now and then i'm going to click on update and let's see if this thing works now so let me turn off this light here hey santa turn on the light there we go so we could now have our own custom wake word being generated on our machine itself and then use this directly in our voice assist pipeline so we just saw how we integrated hey santa in this 
and this is how we get to do this now this was done using the home assistant add-on now in case you are running home assistant as a docker container then you will have to also run snowboy as a docker container so now let's look at how we can do that so i have this docker compose file wherein i run all my containers that is the various components for the voice assist pipeline that is whisper piper and open wake word and now i'm going to start using snowboy here so let me open the docker compose file here and here if you see here i have this section for snowboy here now this entire docker compose file i will provide it into the article that i will link into the description below so you can refer to that now here i'm also running open wake word but i'm not going to be using it i'll be just using snowboy here and then i'll be connecting snowboy on the port 10500 so this is how you can do using the snowboy docker container now to place the custom wake word this is the location that i have specified here and if i exit this docker compose file here there is a folder called as snowboy custom wake word so you will have to place your custom wake word inside this so let's try and see if we can place this custom wake word inside so let me check here so i already have this santa.pmdl so this is only saying the wake word santa without hey santa so let's actually try this so i already have this docker file running so let me start again and now i can see that this is running for me so let me go back here and i'm going to devices and services and here in my yoming protocol here and here i'm going to remove my previous snowboy add-on and i'm going to make a new entry here so here i'm specifying the ip address of my server on which i'm running the snowboy docker container and the port is 10500 I'm click on submit and now this snowboy connection that is there is actually with my server so now let's go ahead and update our voice assist pipeline so let me go here manage assistance click on this and here i'm going to select snowboy again and then here if you can see there is only santa here so i'm going to select this and i'm going to click on update okay so now let's go ahead and trigger this so for this let's go to the overview page and turn off this light here santa turn on the light turned on input boolean so there we go so this is the way we can actually have this working with a docker container also now all of this information i'll be providing into the article that i will link into the description below wherein i will show you how you can start this application using docker and what command you need to run such that you can record your own wake words save the model and then use this model with a wake word detector that is snowboy we just saw how we could create our custom wake word locally for this festive christmas season now in my next video we will be looking at how we can create custom sentences that is when saying a custom phrase you get a custom output from home assistant also now if you want to support my channel so that i can make more such videos there are links into the description below wherein you can support me via patreon or you can just buy me a coffee now if you like this video make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come till then take care and i will see you in my next one